Hello again. Welcome to the second clip in our Smart Time Management series. My name is Doris Edwards. There are times when we need to be proactive, follow up on a job we have delegated to someone else, or make sure we don't forget to answer a message sometime later when we have more time. Inside this video, I'm going to show you how to set flags to organize and track email messages, and how to make sure we can easily find those messages again, even if we have already filed them away. And as a bonus point, right at the end, I will show you a super neat shortcut that transforms email messages into calendar entries. You will like it. Let's start with the first point, the flags. People who know a trick or two about time management prefer to keep their inboxes as empty as possible. Delete or delegate as much as you can when you read your mail the first time round. And then reserve specific time during the day for answering those messages that require your particular attention. But don't let messages linger in your inbox for too long. Best is to file them away immediately into their appropriate subfolders, so that your inbox remains sen, and you as well. But obviously we will need to keep track of things. This is why Outlook's flags and search folders are such a good idea. We attribute flags to messages that require our attention later by clicking with the right mouse button on the mail. As you can see, there are different types of flags, and we can even add reminders. Flags can, of course, be attached to messages all across the inbox. This method of tracking messages is particularly interesting if we use it together with search folders because we don't want to run the risk of forgetting about mails that are now hidden away in subfolders. So let's have a look at those search folders. Search folders are, unfortunately, I should say, placed right at the bottom of the mailbox. To create a new search folder, right-click on the root folder and select the type that is appropriate for you. As it happens, we don't even need to configure anything, because mail flagged for follow-up is available right here. Once active, the search folder presents all mail items that have a flag attached to them, and these are immediately visible in one single place, independent, and that is important, of where they have been filed. This is such a good feature. Once a job done, I mark a message as complete, and it immediately disappears. This is because a search folder is not a real folder, but only a filter that hides away all email items that do not have a flag attached to them. But no worries, whilst the message is no longer visible in the search folder, it has not been deleted, it's still stored away in its original place. In this case, it's still in the inbox. As we have seen before, there are many search folder types already set up for immediate use. Take your pick in accordance with your needs. But if you have a specific requirement, you may want to create a custom search folder. I'm going to show you how to do this now. In a custom search folder, you can choose the criteria by which you wish to filter email items. In our example, we want to display all mails that come from a particular email address. I give a name to my custom search folder and specify the criteria. There are tons of possibilities. You could, if needed, enter quite complex conditions by combining elements on the three tabs available. But in this example, we simply type an email address into the From field. And then we test it. Whenever I receive a mail from Doris Edwards at bluewind.ch, this mail is immediately visible in the search folder, in addition to the original, of course, which is still in the inbox. Now one last thing. Search folders are badly positioned at the bottom of the ladder, as it were. This is not convenient, especially if we already have a lot of subfolders in our inbox and therefore need to use the mouse to scroll down. A good idea is to drag the search folder as a shortcut into the favorite folder space, which is ideally positioned at the very top of the mail folder. This simple dragging effect will so much improve your comfort. In fact, I recommend that you use this favorite space for all your important folders. 
And now, as the cherry on the cake, let me show you a neat shortcut that will save you lots of clicks during the day. Drag an email message over the calendar module with the left mouse button and you immediately get an open appointment window with the mail message text stored right inside the text section. Complete date and time, it's so quick! Another way is to drag with the right mouse button. This gives you nearly the same result, except that the message text is included as an attachment. And here we are again, at the end of another of Ricky's Refresher tutorials. Hope you liked what I showed you today. Please be back for the next session to discover how to make important messages stand out visually in your inbox, for example by giving them a specific color. Until then, best regards from me, Doris Edwards, in Geneva, Switzerland.